good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Gina Peter. We continue with our lessons on bending stress in beams. Today, we are going to be taking a sample question. Uh, the question says A hollow circular bar used as a beam has its outside diameter twice the inside diameter. It is subjected to a maximum bending moment of 60 kN. Determine the inside diameter of the beam if the permissible bending stress is limited to 120 megapascal. Solution. First, we take the parameters that we are given. D, which is the Outside diameter was given as three times the inner side diameter. And then the bending moment was given as 60 kilonewton per meter. And if you convert to newton millimeter, you get 60 times 10 per 6 newton millimeter. And then the permissible stress given is 1. 20 mega pascal. These are just parameters given. So, we are going to be using the section modulus of the beam equation. Zs, which is section modulus, is equal to pi over 32 d raised power 4, that's capital D minus d raised power 4, small d, all over capital D. This equation is useful for hollow circular beams for hollow circular beams i can recall that capital d which is outside diameter is three times the inner diameter so we we'll fix it in the equation and we see as you can see in the equation below 3d has been used to replace capital d if you simplify that equation, you get z sub x to be equal to 5 pi d raised by 3 over 6. This is the expression for the section modulus of this hollow circular, circular hollow beam. The section modulus is equal to Bending moment divided by the stress or permissible stress in this case. So recall that permissible stress given in this question in this question is 120 megapascal, and your bending moment given is 60 times 10 per 6 newton millimeter. So when we put these parameters into the equation above, ZS becomes equal to 60 times 10 to 6 divided by 120. If you still know your maths, you know that ZS is equal to, will be equal to 500 times 10 to 3 millimeter cube. That's it. ZS equals to 500 times 10 to 3 millimeter cube. And we know that what we got was the expression ZS is equal to 5 pi d cubed over 6 meters of resistance. So we can equate moment of resistance to be equal to the section modulus. So you can see ZS is equal to 5 pi d cubed over 6, and ZS is equal to 500 times per 3 millimeter cube. So we can equate both. So you see 5 pi d cubed over 6 is equal to 500 times 10 per 3 millimeter cube. So we solve for D by making D the subject of formula and finding the cube root of whatever you get on the right hand side. You arrive at D equal to 57.6 millimeter. So you can see that inside diameter of our hollow 
beam is 57.6 millimeter. Some questions you'll be asked to find the outside diameter. In this case, we know that our outside diameter would have been, if we asked, would have been three times 57.6 millimeter. So let's look at some variations, some self-study as you practice. First, let's say we were given to solve the sample question above, assuming that the outside diameter is four times the inside diameter. The solution will be the same as what we have done above. The only difference is that D will be equal to 4D. Another question that could arise from this kind of question, they may say you should take the maximum bending moment to be any figure. In this case, let's say 45 kilonewton per meter and the bending stress is limited to 100 mega pascal. You can try your hand with this and see how much you know about questions like this. In some cases like this, let me say, assume that the beam is solid. If you are given a solid beam, that means your section modulus Zx will be equal to pi d4 over 32d. There will be no d is power 4 minus d is power 4 because it is a solid beam. Could have used Zs equal to pi d is power 4 over 32d. All right, thank you for your time. Thank you for listening.